Welcome back to Dems Biking Adventures. Uh, today we're at Badawa. Please uh, like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. So here we are just going on the uh, little bit of an entrance trail. Uh, this trail will take to a connecting spot where you have a choice of a few different trails to go. Nice little uh, zoomy flat trail, not much to it. Yeah, we're just going along here. And here we are, we're heading on to uh, Evergreen Trail. It's not a bad little trail. You can zoom fairly quickly along it. Uh, towards the uh, middle and end, you start going up a little bit. Um, this will take you to the connecting point uh, where we'll hit the switchbacks and climb up to the top. Actually, I call it the, uh, I myself call it the three quarter climb because you climb the switchbacks, it takes you up to the top. But then you have a uh, another long trail that uh, has a slow incline that'll take you up to the very top. It's only about uh, I think about a kilometer long, maybe not quite a kilometer. Once you're on at the top of the switchback. So I was doing this ride after I uh, went out uh, with my with my mom. Her and I went for a, just a quick 12 kilometer, a uh, little bit of a gravel ride uh, from her trailer to uh, to a little town for coffee, and then rode back. My legs already had a little bit of a warm up, not much of a warm up, pretty easy gravel biking, but. I'm out uh, riding with my mother. It's just uh, it's just for fun at her pace. Um, or if my aunt joins us like later this week, uh, it's just be, it's at their pace. Uh, you know, we're seventy some odd years old, and it's uh, you know just go at their pace. And it's nice, just nice to be out with family and enjoy the ride. But right here at Batawa, yeah, I am riding by myself. Here we are, start to get into a little bit of an incline. Nothing major or hero or bleh, terrible or anything like that. Just a nice steady. A little bit punch, a little punch there, climbing, climbing punch to get up there. Another one right here, but got the speed help carry me through. This here is a little bit steeper, a little bit longer of a climb. Certainly not, not a bad climb whatsoever.
couple riders there that let me buy, which was nice of them. A father and a son. And here we are at the uh, connecting point. Now we're going to go up the uh, switchbacks. Now earlier this year when I did these switchbacks, uh, I actually never did them completely. Um, I always seem to have issues and uh, you can tell how much I've improved because, well, you'll see here, I climb this switch back all the way up without stopping, no issues. And uh, on this trip, I actually do it three times, climb up the switchback. So, uh, but, uh, just when you think you're at the top here, no, I gotta swing over to the right. Goes, uh, goes across the uh, the face here a little bit, and then it'll switch back up. Uh, here we go. Gonna switch back up to the left. So finally, here's the top. Now we're heading down. This is the uh, trail. It's a slow climb. Um, has a little bit up and down. First section is the steepest. It's uh, you know a little bit, a uh, little bit of just a steady climb, good leg workout. Once you get past, uh, I'm going to say the the first third, it's not too bad. It's, uh, you go down a little bit, and then you get enough speed to help carry up some of the uh, little punchy climbs. Actually, I had to stop along the point. A dead branch had fallen across the uh, trail up ahead, and uh, I had to uh, I had to stop, and I was able to move the branch out of the trail myself. So now that we've made it up most of the harshest, uh, harshest points of climbing. Definitely not a bad trail. One thing I like about that battle wall, it has some meter marks on the trail. So you know how, uh, how far you've gone along the trail. And uh, by that you can gauge how much uh, how much you have left of the trail. There's a tree branch that I had to stop and remove there. So 
it's not a bad trail at all. You know, there, there's uh, this climb trail. There's not uh, there's not uh, really any technical, so to speak. You know, a little bit of rock. You know, the odd route here or there, but uh, it's uh, definitely not technical. Here we are, a little punch climb here. We get a little bit of down, another little punch climb. And here we go again. It uh, does this a few times. Here's some joggers. Uh, the uh, most of the trails here are multi-use. Um, there is one. I definitely know at least one trail that is uh, mountain bike only, uh, just because of the speed we're going along. Uh, really, that you can't have hikers on it because trying to stop in time from running over a hiker is uh, not going to be possible. So yeah, it's just a, uh, you know, it's just a, a steady trail. Um, you know, after the switch back, it's, uh, you know, just a nice long steady trail, keep the heart rate up and uh, One of those trails you can just cruise along. Um, you can do it lightly, at your pace, or you can do it, you know, get in your full cardio for a good kilometer. We are a little bit of a climb again. Nothing drastic. It's hard to tell on camera, but we are getting closer to the end of this trail. Uh, you can see how the, uh, the trees open up and it's a little harder to see on the camera but uh, you can tell a little bit they open up there so you know you're getting towards the end of the trail now one reward, reward at the end of this trail is the uh the view you're at the uh, you're at the top uh top of the ski hill and uh you got a beautiful view you'll see here in a second in here and then at the top of the ski hill beautiful view good spot for pictures I've taken lots of pictures from here and yeah so here we are well uh, just gonna head back to the, the trail here I like how they have this uh, map board at the top Great, so you know where you are. So we're going to head down the mountain bike only trail. This is uh, 
actually one of my favorite trails. It starts off not uh, super, super fast, but you can get, you know, you can get fairly quick along it. I've only done this trail once before, so this is my second time doing it. Um, there's a couple little rock things that I that I missed came up on me too fast. So there's the first rock. No, that's not it either. Huh. There's the first rock one that I, I missed. Um, at some point, I'm going to have to go back and do that. And we got another little rock thing here. Numerous routes through this. I took the easiest route just going to the outside of the rocks. This one here is easy rollover. This one here caught me by surprise. And I uh, could have done it, and, but uh, caught me by surprise, wasn't prepared for it. So we come down to this rock pile with a little skinny. No issues there. A little far to the right, but all good. And yeah, as you see, you can uh, really start to fly along this trail. I did hold back the speed a little bit. I just uh, wasn't sure if there's any more obstacles. Um, but really, you know, after those rock things, you can really just, you know, not touch the brakes and just let her go. Great trail. Oh, yeah, we're just uh, flying along here. You pick up a significant amount of speed. There was a little drop, like just a you know four inch drop in along here somewhere, but uh, the speed you're going, you hardly notice it. Here towards the end. I uh, got on the brakes a little bit, but uh, if I hadn't, uh, you know, I wouldn't have had to pedal there. Just could have kept going. But uh, here we are at the bottom. From here we go right back into the switchbacks. Now, there are other ways to the top. Um, from what I've been, this is, uh, this is a route I was shown by one of the members of, uh, of Batawa um, Bike and Ski Club, uh, who rode here regularly. Uh, it was actually on the, uh, when we did the mini, mini adventures ride in, so. Uh, climbing up the switchback seems to be the the main way that people use. There are other ways, but uh, I've gone uh, up the up this a few times, and uh, I don't mind climbing the switchback. It's not bad. Uh, so if you're out there, you know, definitely give it a try. Here we are again up at the top. So now we're back down to the other end, and actually we're going to take, uh, I forget what trail this is, but it's fairly steep. 
um, a lot steeper than what it looks. A lot of loose gravel, loose rocks on it. Um, so if you do take it, I do caution that, uh, you know, uh, this is my first time down it this year. So I kind of took my time a bit. But you can see there's a lot of washouts, a lot of rocks, loose rocks on it. And uh, look at the poor chicken there, head just uh, bouncing up and down like like crazy. Uh, it gets pretty rough. And it smooths out and and did a nice trail. And I could have kept up the pace a little bit, but. Uh, just don't know how trails have changed over the year if there's any added features so you know I am always cautious first time down them Not a bad trail. Just up here, there was a, uh, should be coming up to a drop here soon. Um, it's an option you have, you can go do the bypass or you can go up uh, and do the little bit of a drop. Here it is here. A little bit of a drop there. Definitely rollable. I rolled it that time because I lost the speed for any momentum because um, I wasn't sure of its location. So I'm just cruising along here and this will connect back again to the bottom of the, the switchbacks. Goes out, it opens up here a little bit. Goes out and it cuts back in. And again, here's where all the trails, a uh, bunch of the trails meet, it's at the bottom. And then yes, back up the switchbacks for our third and final time. Just uh, coasting a little bit there, trying to, uh, one thing I try to do is get my heart rate lowered. Uh, I've been trying to breathe better to, uh, you know, take deep breaths. I find that uh, a lot of times having issues, I actually kind of, the way I'm breathing, I hyperventilate myself. So, trying to do some deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth slowly. And 
Yeah, I seem to be doing a better job with the way I'm breathing. I'm still, uh, at least I make up the switchbacks. When I get up to the top of the switchback, yeah, I do take a break. Because uh, I'm uh, sucking oxygen pretty good. Um, once I was breathing through my eyeballs. Um, and this gentleman here has the same model year of bike as me, just different color. Anyways, we're heading down this trail, going to head back um, towards the parking lot. I'm going to call it a day. And uh, this trail starts off really, really nice. A little bit downhill, not much technical. And then it turns into a little bit of an uphill and kind of kills your, your fast speed on you. And it'll do this a couple times. It'll go up and then, you know, allow you to go down, pick up speed, and it'll go up and kind of kill all your speed. So if you've watched the video this far and uh, you want to see more videos like this, uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. It helps the channel. Here we are, uh, one of those fast times again, soaring down. A little bit rougher, a little bit more speed. Chicken head just going, uh, going nuts with the bounce in there. And here we are, steep uphill, kind of just it sucked all the speed right out of the bike. But downhill and then right back going up, climbing back uphill again. This trail has a little bit of up and downs, and uh, it's definitely not a bad trail. I, I definitely like it. Uh, I think it's one of those ones that uh, do it a, I think I've only done it once, maybe twice. Anyway, do it a few more times, and uh, as you get to know trails, uh, especially for the one season, you just uh, you get going a little bit faster and faster as you know the trail. And, uh, I think with a bit more speed, uh, there'd be a little bit less climbing. Uh, definitely, like this is a longer climb, so you're always going to be uh, climbing this a little bit. And then it drops back down. Now, there's a few other trails and some drops here uh, off to the right and left uh, that you can do. I didn't uh, stop and do it. Uh, I, next time uh, I'm out there, I plan on uh, having a look at the drops and uh, and working on those. The junction of the trails. I'm going to choose a trail that will take me back out towards the uh, parking lot. And like I've, uh, you know, I've asked a couple times, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Helps my channel out, helps me out. And uh, thank you so much. Have a great day.